guys, let's bring it on here. Today's video on me entering 11th for Siege. I ended up doing what I thought was going to be impossible, and I leveled up 50 times in under a day. Just because of the double tiers, doing my order challenges, and actually, double XP actually helped in the later rounds leveling up a lot easier, or a lot faster compared to how it used to be, where it was basically you could not level up after like round like 25. Basically, this procedure, I was finishing my challenges. I pretty much just finished Dark Ether. That'll be a video coming up today, too. And yeah, as you can see right there, I got a Dark Ether knife. I finished all my diamond camos. I got the Dark Ether on my snipers for some reason. Like, when I finished my snipers, I unlocked Dark Ether, but then I still was like, I don't feel right if I don't finish the launchers. So I finished the launchers and I got those two done. And yeah, I'm basically finished with the season 100% besides Intel which you could always go back and collect those but yeah so getting to my classes I finished the snipers which I think I was actually 10th for or a little bit before I finished one of them in 10th prestige and now my classes I have them set up for how I basically want them to look and pretty much just use what I want so yeah Last game I was using the XM4, I was playing some D-Machine, got to round 61, I believe. Yep, and now start the time grinding, basically for high rounds whenever I want to. So I'm going to show you, for hitting 10th, 11th for Siege, you get a emblem on your weapon, which, eh, it's a decent looking one. I, I wouldn't say it's the best one, but, you know. I think they could have did a little bit better. I also have hit tier 100 on my battle pass. When it comes to my seasonal challenges, I am 100% complete with that. Multiplayer, I did not play at all because they literally just did this in under a day. Zombie challenges went up a little bit. I don't know why it says 100% complete right there. Went up a little bit, found some of the intel on Firebase Z just from doing the challenges. Uh, or my campaign is 100% complete. So when it comes to my progression, there you can see I got my two ribbons. Season ends in two and a half days. Got two prestige keys also. I'm not sure if I'm gonna spend them, but I'll look through and see what I want. When it comes to my combat record, I have 15 hours and one minute still in multiplayer. 1.97 KD, 1.15 win loss ratio, score per minute of 393. Most use gun is a stoner. Uh, zombies, I got 183,505 eliminations. Most used is a ray gun now. And number two is probably the ray K, to be honest with you. Elite eliminations is 579, averaging about 1,043 a game. It went up 100 just from doing higher rounds now. And critical kills, 97,617. So if we look more in depth into it, ray K is indeed number two with 9,524. Got a total of matches played of 176. And let's go more in depth into this. So, the Tundra is now up in my top used guns. Or most elimination guns. And that looks like to be the only new one up there. Stimshot C4, still the same old. But like I said, I've been using stun grenades just in case I get trapped, I just throw them to the ground, stun them. Chopper gunner still at the top. Artillery, Death Machine, that went down the kills per use. I was trying to kill Orda with it, but it's not a good gun. Ring of Fire, it's mostly going to be the top until I don't know, until I stop playing this game, I guess. And the other ones don't really matter. Uh, multiplayer, like I said, not really much different you're going to see. Haven't really touched it comes to leaderboards I am now in the top 135,873 with total rounds of 3,735 that arcade is still around the same I've taken over for number one on my friends list and nothing on here is gonna be really different I didn't play outbreak or onslaught I almost beat my high round on D machine on uh, D machine. I beat my high round on Firebase Z for doing my order challenges. Ended up getting round 54 and then just ended the lobby. Didn't feel like keep going. Didn't feel like to keep going. 
so none of these are going to be any different. Uh, if you really care about my intel, here you go. So I think I've also, yep, I finished my XF4. When you hit 11th Prestige, you get another emblem for the Prestige logo. Eh, it doesn't look as bad, I guess, right here. Kind of looks like something you see on, like, uh, Ancient Evil or something. Just feel like it's, uh, look, just, I don't know if it's a skull or what it is. I feel like they could have made it look, like, a little bit better. But, pretty cool still. So, let's take a look at what I can get. I think, honestly, I'm gonna buy one of these because... Kind of more interested in these than actual calling cards. Like these, it's nothing really special, to be honest. In here, is there any? I don't think any of the animated calling cards would be in here. Honestly, it would be pretty cool if they added the uh, tenth for siege MW2 spinning logo, the emblem. I don't think they have emblems you could buy though. They used to have this if you had like, I think it was a 10,000 headshots with the AK-47, it would be spinning. But it was like patched out of the game. I'm going to buy the Prestige Master emblem. I'm going to buy this one. I'm going to apply that one because I honestly do not like the 11th Prestige emblem. Like, it's cool and all, but it just, I don't know, I don't really like it. So for buying those two, I also unlock the prestige icons as emblems. Where is the second one? Where is the Black Ops 2 one? There you are. It looks kind of fuzzy. Uh, I don't know if that's going to make a good emblem. I wish they had the spinning emblem of this. I can see how they, these are animated, but none of them are really like moving, moving. Like this one is, but it's not spinning. Wish they had the spinning emblems. Yep, that's gonna be it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, you can leave a like. If you're brand new to the channel, subscribe. Um, now that I'm done with this season, I probably will not be playing Cold War for just a little bit because I pretty much done way too much on this game in the last few weeks. I got Dark Aether, done a lot of challenges, got all the easter eggs. I got pretty much everything done, everything I want, and I, by the way, I'm also done with these now. So, pretty much I'm done with everything I can do this season. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see anything new, comment it down below what you want to see. Play many games, many new things coming out soon. If you guys want to see things like even the new Warzone event, hopefully I can stream that. But, yep, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Peace out.